Have you ever wondered what it actually takes to get into character as an actor? I always tell my clients that the eyes tell no lies and that the camera is a lie detector. By the end of this video, I will share with you my personal tips on how I like to get into character for TV show auditions. For the best acting advice and more audition tips and tricks, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn that bell on so you can get notifications when I post a new Actors Daily Red video every Tuesday. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey you! Before you dive into this episode, don't forget your free gift. Click the link in the description below to grab your copy of my Get Booked Playbook. Learn how to face your fears, learn how to become a booking magnet, and learn the inner game of booking more work. Grab it now and enjoy the episode. What's up? Welcome back. I'm Christine Horn, known as The Booking Magnet. I'm a professional working actress of over 20 plus years, and I am the founder of Hollywood Bound Actors. Listen, I have spent the past several years coaching hundreds of actors from around the world, learn how to crush their auditions, book more work, and live a life that they love. And now it's your turn. <laughs> so let's get into it. First of all, let me just say this. There are a million ways that you can get into character as an actor. There is no one right way. The right way is your way, okay? It is your process. So I'm just sharing some things that I do, but you can take some of these, as I like to say, eat the fish and spit out the bones, okay? So my first thing that I like to do, and these are in no particular order, by the way, is craft a character bio. A biography. Basically, you should know similar things about your character as you do about yourself. What's your full name? Where are you from? How old are you? Do you have brothers or sisters? What's your zodiac sign? Like, what is your history? Even if you have one page of dialogue or one line, crafting a character bio just helps you know who you are and what you're bringing to the table. And it will be unique and it will be made up. <laughs> It will be made up because you are creating this character with the information that you have. That's what makes it so much fun. Another tip that I like to share with you is called peeling the onion. Now, many people call it different things, but when I was in high school learning about acting and the fundamentals, there's an exercise we do where we peel the onion. So you know, onions have many layers, right? So there's an exercise where you do, where you act as if there's a zipper at the top of your head and you literally peel it right? You peel it. Imagine taking off a layer, right? That's like peeling the onion. And what do onions have? Lots of layers. So sometimes you're watching a TV show or a movie and the characters seem to, has, to seem to have no depth. Like it's just very surface. It's very maybe kind of stereotypical. Like there's nothing more there. As human beings, as real people, we are layered complicated creatures. So it's important to peel the layers back. So if it just says angry man, okay, well peel a layer. Why is he angry? Well, because he uh, grew up poor. Okay, why did he grow up poor? You know, well, his mom, you know, got divorced from his parents and, and had a rough time. Okay, well, what happened there? We keep peeling back the layers, more layers, more layers, more layers, right? And it helps us to get to a root, get to the center, the core of who a person is, of the character that we are creating. Again, no one can tell you to do this. A director's not gonna say, hey, Samantha, peel that onion, right? <laughs> Pull back those layers. They're not gonna say it to you in that way. They expect you as a professional to show up with these ideas. And then it becomes a collaboration with the writers and the director and what the big vision of the project is. Another fun thing that I like to do, and I've shared this with some of my students, and they don't all uh, respond to this well, but I like to find my spirit animal. This is in a lot of different acting methodologies, but there's a thing I like to do when I'm playing a character. I like to think about an animal that my character reminds me of. So for instance, when I played Harriet Tubman on Timeless, I tapped into a gorilla. And how do gorillas walk, right? They walk with this kind of heaviness, right? They kind of have this thing. They're real protectors, like sweet to their own, 
but honey, do not cross them. And so when I played Harriet Tubman, I would walk through the forest and the trees like, and just had this weight on me and it really helped me. And so sometimes you may find a character that feels very flighty and it reminds you of a little bird. Like, and that's just how you show up. Like, oh, hi, uh, nice to meet you. Oh, right, very that. Or when I played Sheila on Good Girls, I tapped into my, my inner snake kind of slithering and sliding through the church pews and being disrespectful, right? But that was, I tapped into this kind of snake that just at any moment could come and get you. Hmm? So try that on besides. It's tons of fun. You will feel silly doing it, but if it resonates with you, try it because it brings a lot of fun to my characters. So maybe it's just the singer in me. I don't know, but I love music. Music guides me into so many things. I like to create a soundtrack for my characters and listening to very specific music helps me to get into character. What would this character be listening to? What makes me feel connected to this character? See, acting's very spiritual to me. Right? I feel like I'm taking on another, I know this is gonna sound real woo woo, but like another life form, another person. Like it's very spiritual and I honor the process very much. And so for me, music helps me tap into that. I often talk about getting a get booked playlist. You can learn more about that in my get booked playbook. The link is below. But music really just helps me to get in the zone and connect to who I want this character to be. The last tip I wanna share with you is something that I like to do even before I start rehearsing my lines or even doing a character biography. I like to figure out how I fit in into the world of the character, into the world of the show. So whatever show it is that I'm auditioning for, I need to do my research so I can understand what the world looks like. Is it the end of the world apocalyptic kind of show? Or is it bright and funny? Is it um, serious and dark? Like I need to know what that is first so that when I create my character, when I'm finding my animals, when I'm figuring out all of those other pieces to the puzzle, I know where I'm going to be inserting this character. So that's one of the most important steps. I'm giving it to you last, but it's actually first. Okay, real quick, stop, leave a comment below right now and let me know what your favorite way is to get into character. Hey, you might have a good idea, I might need to try. Put a comment below right now. <laughs> Okay, so this is just the tip of the iceberg of the ways that I like to get into character, but I wanted to give you some of my favorites that I do on a regular. I go really deep into this in my Book More TV signature course. Listen, if you want to book more TV, get with me, just saying. The link is below. I go deep into this character development, editing your self tapes, finding what clothes to wear, how to wear your hair, makeup, researching shows, marketing, all of it. So I want, <laughs> I get pumped up because this course is so freaking good. So click the link below to learn more. But listen, I hope you enjoyed these tips and take them and try them and use them. And you never know, you might mix it with what you're doing and find your own little personal process. I'm all about that. And remember, if you want to join a supportive community of actors just like you, come on over to our Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group and I would love to welcome you there. All right, that's all I have for now. But wait, before you leave, spread the love, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and share this video with a friend. <gasps> All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey you, are you an actor? Not booking. Well, guess what? The problem isn't you. It's not that you're not talented, hardworking, or deserving. It's that you haven't found the missing link that can change your career forever. Playing small. The Actor's Guide to Becoming a Booking Magnet. It's my new book! You can order it now at whyplaysmall.com.